Hello. I hate that this always cuts off the top of my head. I mean, I got my hair dyed. But, like, this is really going to bother me. I, I did all of this adjusting so I could actually see myself. And I can't see myself. Okay. Looks better. <clears throat> I be forgetting that, like, when I press start, it zoom in a little bit. But, no, I got a color change. <laughs> um, it is Saturday. If you're new here, welcome. My name is V. Um, thanks for checking out my channel, I guess. <laughs> Um, I know it's early. Y'all know we usually don't do sex talks Saturday. Well, if you're, if you've been here, welcome back. You know, we usually don't do sex talks Saturday early. Um, if you're new here and you like, I don't really know what to talk about. Um, I usually don't do these during the day. I try to do them at night to really kind of set the mood a little bit. Um, but I did miss Friday. If you've been keeping up with me and you watch my videos and you know, I told y'all, uh, I might or might not be seen on thursday and friday um but i am here uh i had my fill in thursday and then my hair appointment was friday um and yeah you know um i don't really know what i got planned for today on saturday it is 10 oh 10 10 okay um so I'm going to take that as a confirmation right now. Um, I don't know exactly what my day is going to have, um, but I did have some extra time. Uh, I came down with something this week, y'all. I don't really even know. I don't know, bitch. I just, <laughs> it's been a wild week. Uh, I felt fine at the beginning of the week when I recorded What You Need to Know Wednesday. And then it's like I woke up on Wednesday feeling like I got hit by a truck. Um, and I really just been trying to get back together in the groove. I am kind of getting my, my, my vibe back. Uh, it must've been like a 24 hour something or something. It wasn't really like a stomach bug though. It was like, it was like, it started off as if, I think I said that in the reading, um, for what you need to know Wednesday when it was like, I felt like my throat, you know what I mean? Um, and then from there, it just completely kind of took another level. I guess it kind of turned into an actual cold. But it didn't even last long. Like, I felt like shit all Wednesday. Um, by the end of Wednesday, I think I felt okay. Was it? Yeah. So, yeah, I just been feeling crazy. Like, Wednesday, I felt like complete shit. Thursday, I had my dentist appointment, but I felt pretty okay. I felt manageable. Friday, I felt real good. And then today, I feel real good. I just got this pussy-ass cough now. Um, cause I already felt like it was phlegm. Um, uh, but now I feel like it's kind of moved into my chest. Um, I still don't feel sick exactly though. Like even on Wednesday, I felt like I got hit with a ton of bricks. It's really it. It's about the best way I can describe it. Um, I had a headache real bad and I slept like I slept for 12 approximate hours. Um, I know that I'm not exaggerating because by the time I went to sleep, I had stuff to do that night. Um, so by the time I actually would sleep Wednesday uh it was like 6 a.m because I had to be up Tuesday night to do something um went to sleep on Wednesday I went to sleep at like 6 no later than 6 30 definitely before 7 o'clock I got out of the bed one time that whole day and that was to drink some water and use the bathroom and I got back in the bed by the time I was even up and conscious to be able to even try to get out of the bed bitch it was like 5.45 and I had to make myself get out of the bed because I wanted to do a space if you would got me on Twitter then you noticed that um never even did the space I just made it like a twin flame space so we could just talk and vent I just didn't have no energy for a Wednesday like bitch I was done for a bitch okay this stupid ass mic is about to upset me too so see any other time you act like you know how you wanna you feel me and now you just wanna be moving and grooving and sliding and Glide and this shit, bitch. Stay your ass still. Anyway, let's hope I don't get too hot. I might need to pause this and go ahead and turn my fan on because I'm not sweating this hair out. I'm not. I got a photo shoot in two weeks. I went ahead and got my hair done this week so that way I can go ahead and get everything done. So if you see a bitch pause and come back to the camera and be like, okay, I had to turn this fan on. Um, but I just turned it off for right now because especially with me getting cold, I've just been having hot flashes. Like, one moment I'm hot, then one moment I'm chilly, and then one moment I'm, like, sweating, and then the next moment, you know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm feeling better. 
a lot better actually I, i'm getting my appetite back anyway so let's go ahead and jump to some things i feel like i've talked y'all here up enough um so let's go ahead and get into the get into um we are here for sex talk saturday if you're new this is just a general just to really see um what sexual energy you have toward you what you have coming uh toward you around you the sexual energy you might have toward other people next sexual encounter any sexual secrets that might be up under the veil okay since i did miss friday um i will kind of intercede that with a little bit of love messages so i do have some um oracles and i do have my little handwritten deck or whatever um <laughs> i don't know where my little mini one is it might be over there if i really look for it but i ain't even really look for it um and don't worry about this i'm kind of trying this out it's supposed to be like a septum thing I don't really like the septum part and I actually have my septum pierced. So I think I might just get a real one. Um, but this is just for something I'm planning for October. I have something. I just, I got my, I got my hands on a lot of shit right now that I got coming and I'm just trying a lot of shit out. So don't, don't mind my little, <laughs> my little dangly. Okay. Um, it just doesn't fit into my septum, uh, properly. It's a little too big. So I think I'm going to just buy another one. But this is just something that I'm testing for because I have something in October that I'm plotting and planning on. Um, and I'm going to need one of these to pull a look together. You'll see it when y'all see it, how we see it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to some things. Um, we do have the music playing in the background. So we're getting started on um, doing it by L -L Cool J. Okay. Um, do I want to get into love or do I want to get into sex first? That's a real question. Let's jump into love first. Let's 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 take it slow. Yeah, you know I mean, let's jump into the love first, cause then we can get we can get into the bed after. You know what I'm saying? After we get into the after we get into the emotions, we can we can jump in bed after that. So let's go ahead and see. Somebody is definitely trying to do it well, okay? Cause doing it and doing it and doing it well, okay. Yeah, I'm kind of hearing, I'm kind of channeling that part too, where it's like, uh, I represent Queen, she was raised out of Brooklyn, so, you know, might be someone new. For some of y'all, I feel like intuitively, this is somebody new, and this is like somebody that don't, you feel me, like, this is somebody you kind of cross paths with, like, I see homeboy around her way sometime, but I'm on my way to work. <laughs> That's kind of the energy I'm kind of pulling here. Give me something for love since we missed Friday. Um, Venus Day messages. Let's go ahead and get into some teens. Get into the get into talk about the talk about what's popping. What's going on with love? Give me something for romance. Oh, child. Not these cards coming out like that. It made me a little nervous. Why are they coming out so fast? Inner growth, tightrope, heartbreak, money, money, money. If you hear me hit this mic, I'm sorry. I just wanted it close uh, to my mouth because I didn't feel like talking loud. I really got to stop opening my blinds. Even though I enjoy opening my blinds before I do these, I be so distracted by what I see outside. Maybe some of y'all are getting distracted right now because... Uh, anyway. Because <laughs> what the fuck y'all doing? <laughs> Okay. Okay, so you have um inner growth, tightrope, heartbreak, money. Um, y'all know I'm not reading the words at the bottom, child, because I'm not. Um, heartbreak, money, money, money. Knew you. Evil eye. At this point, I'm going to just start putting the bitches in the car. Y'all can read shit. You see what it say? No, I'm just playing. Job opportunity. So I do feel like um there could definitely be a lot of growth going on in the love department. Um, For a lot of you, for a lot of us, it is really pushing through that heartbreak energy of being backstabbed or being done wrong those disappointments working through those perceptions um i do feel like you are you have been doing that um for most of you again if you haven't then this is what the fuck you need to be doing right um this is the growth work that needs to be done this is the time to really make a lot of lifestyle changes this is funny okay so that okay 
temper on me. Y'all are funny. Um, Because I definitely got a card that had lifestyle changes on it. And I was like, but, okay. Got you. Um, some of you definitely should be making some lifestyle changes. Uh, I feel like that's confirmation to let me know that, again, I was on the right path. Um, you're getting a lot of enlightenment at this time. You're going through a lot of spiritual growth at this time. Uh, pertaining to past love, current loves, heartbreak, stuff like that. Um, really trying to really balance it all and really kind of um, get out of out of the anxiety. I, yeah, I feel like a lot of you could be caught in the middle, uh, where it's like you understand the spiritual growth and the enlightenment, but then there's still that um, feeling around it, right? That emotion around it. Um, just like I know, uh, again, y'all know I love to make this transparent, y'all. So even for me, it's very much like working on forgiveness and understanding that a lot of the shit that I've had to go through in love just across all boards, right, um, were to teach me bigger lessons, right? But also kind of still being stuck in that anxiety of the human experience, right? Um, let's not even make this about romance because, you know, love is so much more than just romance, right? Um, even in my friendships, I've really had to be sitting with myself these past couple of days um, to really work through a lot of that heartbreak, right? Um, within like my friend groups and things, that being disappointed, changing the perception, right? Feeling backstabbed or let down, right? And I do feel like um, even for myself, I find myself caught in the middle a lot because it's like, on one hand, I understand that I go through what I go through in my friendships because I am overgiving. It's very similar for me, like in my love life, right? Um, when I fuck with somebody, I'm fuck with somebody. I'm completely silent. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm one of the motherfuckers. If, if like, I think I've said this on Twitter before. So some of you, if you have me on Twitter, might have seen it. Um, where it was like, listen, I don't give a fuck if it don't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? If I walk in the vicinity and, and my right hand bitch is throwing hands, I'm throwing hands. I will ask questions later. You know what I mean? Can get myself in a whole fucked up situation, right? Um, and I don't, personally, I don't feel like that's bad. Now, I know some people might be like, oh, it's stupid. Um, I'm just, I'm just, on, I'm a ride for mine. That's just period, right? Just like my nigga. If I, if I walk in any situation and my nigga got issues, I got issues. You know what I mean? Like, I'm riding for mine. I'm just that type of person, right? Um, uh, but just making sure that these people got the same interests at heart, right? What is it, what does it really matter or what does it really benefit you to be riding for a motherfucker to where when it's time to get in your car, they're looking at you like, ooh, I don't know. You know what I mean? Um, so I had to really kind of learn that lesson. And I understand that that was a lesson I had to understand, right? Understanding that the people who do try to get close to you really don't be having your best interest at heart. People really just be want to get close to you because they want to benefit off of you. You know what I mean? Uh, these people aren't people who really wear just like, that's my bitch and I ride and... You know what I'm saying? Well, if she rocking, I'm rolling, I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? These are people where it's just like, eh, I really don't even care for this bitch like that for real. She kind of get on my nerves. She's really anal, but you know what I'm saying? But she she's a good time when she's a good time or I don't have anyone else to talk to or, you know what I'm saying? And it's like really learning that, right? But where I'm caught in the middle of is because I understand that lesson and that spiritual growth, but in the same breath, I've been put... I, 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 I feel like I'm just kind of in a whirlwind right now of like I can't trust nobody. And I know that's a bad way to be <laughs> because you're going to always need people. You know what I'm saying? You'll always meet new people, right? But it's just like, mm, I don't trust nobody right now. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of how I'm feeling. And I'm trying to work with myself through that, you know what I'm saying, to really make the proper lifestyle changes and to not be stuck in that, in that anxiety, in that energy of, Okay, I'm tired of being backstabbed. I don't trust nobody. So now I just don't have friends. I don't even want friends. I don't even fuck with bitches. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even want to fuck with bitches. I don't even... You know what I'm saying? Like, me and my spiritual team like this, I'm really just rocking with them. Like, those are my friends. That's my family. That's my support. You know what I'm saying? And everybody else is like, I'm good. You know? But again, that's a bad way to be. You always gotta... You know what I'm saying? You always need somebody. You never know when you might need the next motherfucker. So it's like, don't really isolate yourself, right? But I'm definitely stuck in that middle two of like... I understand that I need people and I understand that, you know, we go through these harsh lessons, right? We go through this backstab, this disappointment, this heartbreak, this heartache. We go through it to teach us those spiritual growth lessons, right? Just like in romance, right? 
if you have to experience somebody in your romantic connection that doesn't respect your boundaries or just runs over you, it's more than likely because the spiritual growth here is that you need to learn how to set boundaries. If you already know how to set them, you need to learn how to stand firmly on them. And if that's not the problem, you need to start thinking about what consequences you have for these same people who understand your boundaries, hear them claim to respect them, right? But then still decide to run over them anyway. Right? It's easy to understand the lesson for, for most people, for me anyway. It's easy to understand the lesson. For you too, probably. Maybe for you, it's not the issue. It's the lesson that you be having a hard time grasping. And it's like, once I get the lesson, okay, cool, that's cool. I can always understand the lesson. But for me, it's like, I'm kind of stuck though. I don't really know how to move forward from this part. You know what I mean? I don't really know how to navigate from this part. You know? So that's why I said I can get the, in my love life, I understand the lesson. In my friendships, I understand the lesson. In my family life, I, I get it. But I'm stuck. I still don't really know how to move forward. I understand that this was to teach me how to be standing for myself more, right? To really bring me a new sense of me um, in my friendships, in my romantic life, in my family life, in my relationship with my own goddamn self, right? But it's like, now how do I move forward from feeling like everybody that's going to come around me is going to snake me? Or feeling like everybody that, that tries to help me or work with me is going to only do it to have some sort of manipulative back-end game. Right? So I'm just kind of in that space. Some of you could be in that space romantically. Um, I can't really say I'm in that space exactly romantically. But I, I definitely feel that heavier with just everybody else around me. <coughs> Excuse me. Told y'all I still got a little bit of phlegm. I have my hand sanitizer though. <sighs> Cause a bitch has been disinfecting. Okay. Cause bitch, it's too much, it's too much illness out here in the world for me, bitch. I don't, don't even fuck with me with a head cold. Get the fuck. Hey. Okay. Between this monkey pox, uh, COVID and all of her 13 brothers and sisters, bitch, and everything the fuck else going in the world. I'm just not playing with this. I'm just not. Um, but anyway, moving on, I do feel like some of you who could have been trying to balance the tightrope, um, get from one side of the spectrum to the other, um, really trying to put things in proper perspective. I do feel like you will be kind of, um, getting a reward of something. Money, money, money is here. So it is giving me like random winnings, um, or just reaping rewards. Okay. Um, for some of you, this also could maybe just look like an actual raise, right? Um, maybe some of you have actually released a connection, released a lover, released, some friends and it's like okay now you're gonna get some money now you're gonna get a raise you know what i'm saying and it's like you didn't really even understand that you had to go through this right sometimes that's the inner growth where it's just like listen you trying to hold on to this lover and and this lover is blocking your money this lover is keeping you from really focusing on doing you you know what i mean um, so some of you could be coming into that for some of you um make sure you're not taking on a lot of obligations because i see that as well uh, where it's like you feel backstabbed and hurt and this is the time you need to be doing some spiritual growth and some spiritual healing and really getting the enlightenment and making some lifestyle changes and some of you aren't making the lifestyle changes that you need to be making you still got a lot of responsibilities you still need to find balance in a lot of these responsibilities you got too many obligations making yourself obligated to too many people um obligating yourself to too many money situations um because you know child I know I usually have that problem too sometimes where it's like if I'm going through disappointment or hurt or heartache and I'll try to mask it with just focusing on work, right? I'm going to just focus on work. I'm going to just make this money. and Because you know what I'm saying? Because money is what's going on. And it's like you still have that disappointment just because you're trying to mask it with work and trying not to think about it with work don't mean shit. It's still a problem. It's still an issue. You still feel hurt. You still feel pain or, or just hurt feelings, right? And this is the time for you to really gain some enlightenment on that. Sorry, I'm just back warm. <laughs> no, I was like, I don't know. I felt okay. I felt okay for like a hot split second, and now I'm like back hot. It's not even sunny outside. It's like cloudy. Um, but no, you know what I'm saying. Definitely getting some enlightenment. Definitely having some spiritual awakenings. Um, some of you could be coming into a spiritual awakening right now, and you trying to still mask it off with money. Um, I do feel like the money is gonna be fine. Some of you who did have to just let go of a situation, and you are balancing very well, and you've been finding balance between working. Um, and really taking care of your own emotions, I do feel like you're about to really come into something special, right? For some of you, this will be a new job, a new opportunity. Uh, some of you will be changing positions or just uh, completely switching careers. Um, I kind of been 
pushing on that too. I feel like my spiritual team want me to change careers. Um, and I, 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 I you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, but we'll say that conversation for another day. I do feel like the more you kind of push into a sense of self though, um, the more you kind of, uh, push into a new sense of self, you really do find, um, some real epiphanies, right? Uh, enlightenment, spiritual awakening, you have self-improvement, shift in focus, epiphany, self-realization, regaining focus. So some of you definitely could be regaining your focus. Some of you could have maybe needed to release something. Some of you probably are releasing something, um, as well, where it's just like, um, you really are releasing, you know, uh, the fact that you aren't focused on so much, right? That's why I said some of y'all could be focused on some whole other shit, right? Some of you maybe had to go through this disappointment because you were so wrapped up on trying to focus on love and what love had going on to where you couldn't, you weren't really focusing on what you had to focus on, right? And now that you've cleared out that nigga, you cleared out them friends, you cleared out them fake ass family members, and now you can really get focused and you're really regaining your focus on what can bring you money, on what can bring you some opportunities, Okay, I do want to clarify to really kind of see what's what, um, because this is a love reading, so I don't know if this is exactly money, you know what I'm saying, that you finna get, or that we finna get, or if this is just like an opportunity, right? It says new opportunity, but it says job, position, switching careers. It says money, 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 but it also just says um, reaping rewards and random winnings, right? So they don't always have to be financial. It'll really just have to depend. I do feel like before we clarify and get into some things, Regardless of if it's money, not money, a new job position, a switch in a position, um, or whatever, some inheritance, winning a motherfucking Powerball lotto, bitch, uh, whatever, <laughs> whatever it is you do, whatever it is that you coming into, I do feel like make sure you shut the fuck up about it, okay? Which is so funny because, um, let me pause this so I can really get my thoughts together. I think that's so funny because I just got my hair done yesterday, right? Um... Which I also think is funny because I love my hairstylist so much. I've been going to her for, I think, about five, six years. Um, I was never natural until I went to her, right? I never dyed my hair and colored my hair until I went to her. Um, she has been my first, which I think is cute because she's an Aries. Um, she has been my first for a lot, right, on just cutting and trimming and really just teaching me how to take care of my hair you know what i mean um shout out to the black hairstylist al um <laughs> you know and i know we was talking about that yesterday because she almost like a second mom to me low-key low-key uh and i think she kind of like that because she is a mom but she also knows that my mom is away so i think she just be trying to like make sure i'm staying on top of my stuff <laughs> and um i always like just kiki with her when i go sit in the chair like we just have a good rapport like i just chat with her um and she like brought up a friend that I told y'all that I just had to toss away. And she was like, you know, your friend just texted me this morning. And we get into that whole spiel, child, about how we not friends no more. And about how, you know what I'm saying, people really don't be happy for you. And it's crazy because you go through so much. And, you know, even just listening to her story. And she was like, baby, let me tell you something. I got my truck. I paid my truck off two years in advance. I put like 10K down and, and had my truck paid off. I didn't have to pay a note. Or nothing on that motherfucker for two years. I didn't tell nobody. Everybody coming around me like, oh, cuz, yeah, cuz, go, girl, I know that car note. Mm -hmm. And I'm faking with them just like they faking with me because I don't, I can't put them in my business. If I'd have told these folks I put 10K down, I wouldn't even have nobody to come around and, and, and try to fake or nothing because everybody would have been fucking hating. So a lot of the times, you got to learn how to keep your business to yourself because. These same exact people really don't be happy for you. You know what I'm saying? She tell me a story about, you know, uh, she had one of her family members and it's like, you know, she was supposed to do hair and the other cousin was going to like do nails and there was going to be a thing. But that cousin never actually went to do nails. My hairstylist actually went on to do hair. Like that wasn't a, a play around dream for her. That's something she really wanted to do. But then it's like she went through a period where she was a little too overwhelmed in her life and she like, okay, I got to close down the hair shop because... I'm going to fuck around and go crazy. I just, I can't, not right now. I got to close it for right now so I can really tend to myself, really pour into some other things in my life. So I, because I'm, I'm so stretched thin, child. And she was like, you know what I'm saying? She went back to tell this cousin and that cousin was like, well, congratulations. Not how can I help? Not, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm happy that you're doing what's best for you because don't go crazy. 
congratulations that she closed the shop. Congratulations. Right? So regardless of whatever this is that you're about to get, this new opportunity, this random winning, this whatever it is that you got going, um, you're definitely being asked to make sure that you, for one, stay focused. Okay? And for two, don't tell nobody because nobody's deep. What does it say? <laughs> right? Negative energy or negative intention being sent from a person due to envy, jealousy, or dislike. The judge card also just fell out. So, again, make sure you're using judgment on who you telling. Okay? Because sometimes the same people, we be so excited. I can't tell y'all how many times I get readings from people and I tell them, like, hey, don't tell so-and-so. And, -so. and they're like, well, the only person that I talk to that I tell my business is my bestie, best, 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 best friend that I've known since, like, pre-K. And, like, we tell each other. Right. So if I'm telling you whoever you telling your business to to stop telling your business to, then why are you telling me, well, like, I don't know who that could be because, like, I only talk to one person. Then stop telling them. <laughs> you know people be in your face all the time and it's just like oh yeah because i'm just happy for you i think i said that in a couple of videos back too you know how i noticed that motherfuckers really be on some weird shit because when you really come to them about your accolades something about the energy don't feel genuine you know what i mean when you really come to them about your accolades and what you're doing or what you're trying to do in your life it don't feel genuine And again, I learned that from that same fake-ass friend that I just threw away a couple months ago, right? Anytime a motherfucker, oh, congratulations. Right? And they hit you with the, they hit you with the closed mouth smile. Eh, you might want to watch that, right? But it don't matter to you, person watching. I mean, you can still have new you here. So again, you working on self-improvement. You working on new ways to express yourself. You shifting your focus, you having epiphanies and, and, and enlightenments and lifestyle changes and making the proper lifestyle changes and you uh, taking care of your responsibilities and finding balance in the responsibilities and you prioritizing the obligations and weighing options and you know what I mean? So let they ask, they mad. What is this reaping rewards? What is this new opportunity that we are going to get? Clarify money, money with the job opportunity card. What is that? What is that tea? So we have waterfall. Starting over. Yeah, and this is the card that I got last week when I was like, I saw lifestyle changes like twice. And when I got it for myself, because I pulled for myself weekly, um, I saw I got the starting over card and I saw lifestyle changes. But it was in proximity to me for like my anxieties. And it's like, push more into your lifestyle changes that you know that you're making. Right? Yeah. Right? Push more into the lifestyle changes that you know that you're making. Um, what tried to peek out? What card that was? Let me get it. Yeah, energy healing. Meditating, Reiki, tarot readings, right? So some of you maybe should uh, start pulling for yourself as well. Maybe some of you have been trying to heal. Um, but you have waterfall, you have starting over, and you have anxiety. So for some of you, this uh, random reward that you're reaping, this new opportunity, will be a new love. Um, waterfall says overflowing emotions, creativity, um, happiness, passion, new love, giving from your heart. So I do feel like some of you definitely will be starting over romantically. Um, you could be having a lot of anxiety about it right now. Um, if not right now, when you like, child, I'm not stunned it. Um, I feel like you might have a lot of anxiety about it in the future uh, when it comes and presents itself. Um, you might be overthinking about it. Yeah, you got epiphany twice. A lot of a lot of y'all are having epiphanies too about your love life. Um, if this isn't you, this might be your person. If you're like, no, nah, girl, that don't sound like me. Um, <laughs> th this might be your person. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Um, hand sanitizer. This has literally been my life all week. <laughs> um, but it's, I'm getting new idea, mental epiphany, clear-minded, mental energy. So if this isn't you, um... Somebody pertaining to you could be feeling like this and they could be coming into like some, some new mental clarity, some new mental energy, um, really getting some epiphanies within their own self. Um, this could also be you possibly. And it's like, you could be getting some different epiphanies in your love life. Um, you could maybe be getting some new ideas on how you want to handle your love life and how you want things to go. You could maybe just be trying to get, um, clear-minded right and that could just be a thing for you as well 
Um, meditation could be a big thing here that could be needed right now, right? Um, whereas like you need to be meditating or doing something that helps you stay clear minded. When you're clear minded is when you get these epiphanies, right? When you're not clear minded, um, you kind of cloud that intuition from you to really see uh what it is right you 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 block yourself from getting these enlightenments from getting these epiphanies um from getting this new way of thinking and this new way of expressing because you're kind of clouding it all with what ifs and negative thoughts and insecurities and overthinking and over worrying and over analyzing right um so making sure that you're getting clear in your energy making sure that you're actually getting clear headed okay because i do feel like yeah um the more you self-improve, yeah, a lot of you, I'm seeing self-improvement twice. I'm seeing lifestyle changes twice. So some of you are definitely making some lifestyle changes. Um, self-improvement is in the starting over card and in the new you card, okay? So I do feel like a lot of you guys are starting over. A lot of you guys are rebuilding and or just wanting to start from scratch. This could just be in your business. This could just be in a job, right? Um, and I do kind of see that as well, where it's like if this is a job, type of situation um i do feel like again you'll you're about to really be blessed um maybe you just got fired you know what i mean with the heartbreak card um and it's like the tightrope because you got a lot of bills to pay and it's like god i just don't even know what the fuck like i got so many bills to pay i got so much stuff to do and i didn't lost my job um i do feel like again stay clear-headed um get these epiphanies i do feel like don't tell nobody about this new uh job that you're about to get because some of you are about to get a new job um, but this is a moment for you to work on your self-improvement, right? So what lifestyle changes can you make in this moment? Are you fear-mongering yourself? Are you sitting around with negative energy, uh, kind of feeling away with other people because you feel like other people is out here, um, growing and, and really doing a damn thing and you like, damn, I'm over here, got to struggle. You know what I mean? Depends on anxiety, uh, it's not going to help you. Uh, making sure that you meditate, getting clear minded, getting new ideas, uh, getting new uh, epiphanies, new ways of thinking is what's going to be what helps for others of you. And again, in love, this is definitely going to be love. I don't know why money is coming out, maybe because somebody just needed that message. Um, I do feel like, though, this, this for love. And for those of you who have been trying to make the proper lifestyle changes and you have been trying to set new boundaries and really have this new cycle, I do feel like there is something coming in love. Um, I feel like for some of you, though, most of us rather, right, um, need to really kind of get in this new self-improved, you know, a lot of us really can get boggled down with fears when it comes to love. I know I can't, I don't think there's really, and I think about that a lot within my own life. So I wonder if y'all are like me too, when it comes to that, where it's like, I don't really stress about shit else in my life, but my love life, everything else in my life really come tenfold. And I wonder if that slows it down because it's like the manifestation attraction part, right? Where it's like, listen, my money is going to be my money because I trust me to handle it. You know what I mean? Like, and maybe I'm just here by myself on this island by myself and that's fine too. Um, but maybe y'all can relate, you know, because I don't know. And maybe that's the difference with love, right? That that causes so much anxiety. Because when love is involved, it takes two people to tango. You know what I mean? So even if you are sincere and genuine and open and honest and real, who's to say that your partner is the same, right? Then that's how shit get hurt. And now we have this whole thing, right? And we're back here. Um, <laughs> so it's just like, I guess, also trying to find a balance and, and kind of trying not to be stuck in the middle of the anxieties, right? To have a new way of thinking. Um, because, listen... I don't really stress about my money because I, I trust between me and my spiritual team. I don't really have much to worry about. Right. I really don't because I know that I'm going to do my part and I know that my spiritual divine team going to do their part. And love is just too much shit involved. It's you. And then it's another motherfucker that you really don't know if you can trust, can't trust. You can't trust them today. Can't trust them tomorrow. It's just a lot going on. Right. And I don't know. It's a lot. You know what I mean? <laughs> So maybe for some of you, you know what I'm saying, you kind of can fall in that too, where it's just like, really try to apply those lifestyle changes. You know what I mean? Um, really try to stay in that alignment energy and try not to allow anxieties to get the best of you. Um, again, y'all know, if you know me, you know I'm the first to tell you, uh, easier said than done, right? Um, but I guess it's worth it. I guess. <laughs> I guess, <laughs> um, but this does say rebuilding after a hard phase. So 
you know, um, there is some sort of something here, whether or not you can really trust it right now. I do feel like that could be why it's so important to make sure you stay clear headed at this time, though, um, because you are kind of getting some new ways of thinking and you are shifting your focus. Um, you're getting some self realizations about yourself, about the situations you put yourself in. You know what I'm saying? Even if not just about yourself, self realizations about the relationship, right? About what you put up with, about your own perception of things and how you can really rework that to bring some new lifestyle changes and some new growth, right? Regardless, though, I do feel like don't put nobody in your business, especially if this is a love thing. I feel like if this is romantic, I mean, I feel like if this is job related, definitely don't tell nobody. And this is definitely going to be something that's very passionate. Your uh, creativity is going to flow. This is going to bring you a lot of money, um, a new cycle. You're starting from scratch. You really finding yourself. For some of you, you could be pushing into that. Um, I'm kind of picking that up, too, where it's like this new thing um, could be a new way of expressing like, um, Maybe you're starting to write. Maybe you're starting to paint. Maybe you're doing music. Um, maybe you're shifting your focus to something that really fulfills you and that does really um, allow your emotions to overflow, right? Um, I heard somebody say, you can get paid off of any passion or you can um, really make something out of whatever you're doing as long as you really want it. You know what I mean? Like, I, like Like, okay, like, I feel like I, I talk about Megan a lot. But again, you know, Al, real high, real high girl shit. Um, <laughs> I do feel like, okay, I know that there was an interview that I used to watch. Like, it was probably like two, three years ago. Um, And she was saying that, you know, like, she feel like because she had worked so hard and wanted it so bad, she feel like God gave her the life that she wanted, right? And somebody was telling her, like, you know, don't kind of you know, feel bad because you, your shit popped. You, they make music like you make music, your shit stuck, it, theirs didn't, right? But I also feel like the difference between Megan and probably whomever else was in the competition of the race, God damn it. Um, <laughs> I feel like Megan's passion probably outshined everybody. You know what I'm saying? And that's not to say every people, everybody ain't passionate. But when you're passionate and you really want something like with the fiber of your being, with every fucking bone in your body, you gonna make that shit work, right? It's gonna happen. Now you might have setbacks and things like that, but it's gonna happen, right? So this could maybe be a starting over point. Maybe some of you did uh, get fired, like I said. I feel like I have to cough. <coughs> I just don't want to cough into my hand. Um. I feel like a lot of you could maybe be starting from scratch where it's like, no, I lost my job and that really just hurt me and I just got so much stuff. I feel like this is a time to really push into something else. You know what I'm saying? Like you can really people. I tell y'all all the time, people get people blow up and make money, get famous off of anything. One of them ladies got famous off of a mukbang. She literally got famous from eating on camera and making noises eating on camera like don't tell me that you can't make make a make a million out of 15 cent you really can it depends on how bad you want that shit it depends on how you apply yourself right sometimes it take a new way of thinking sometimes it take a new way of expressing yourself or shifting your focus a shift in a new direction god damn it sometimes right so maybe some of you are looking for an opportunity this is a time to also carve a lane you know what I'm saying maybe this is a time to start from scratch and to really make money doing what it is that you love to do. Okay? So don't be afraid to do that. Don't be afraid to start over and really do something that you love. If you been working in a business job and they just fired you and you like, I don't know what I'm going to do about clothes. This is a time to really try to stay clear minded from the anxiety. It's easier said than done and really try to maybe make a new foundation somewhere else. This is the perfect time if you like, I always wanted to do hair, but I was stuck doing nursing all my goddamn life. Like, this is the time to really branch out and do that. Yeah, it sucks and it hurts that they fired you. Yes, we know you got bills. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Try to get a new job in the meantime, between time. But this is an amazing time to really branch out and do what it is that you want to do. To get that epiphany, have those epiphanies and to say, you know what? This is, a, I can start my hair business. You know what I mean? Like. I can you I can put that cosmetology license to to uh to use that I got when I was nineteen. Even though I mean I cause I couldn't do hair at the time, I had to do nursing, but shit, I can do hair now. My cosmetology license is just sitting up on the shelf. 
that needle and thread just been sitting in the drawer. I can go ahead and start making my clothes that I, you know what I'm saying? And really start pushing into that clothing line. Really turn this into something. Right? I really feel like I have to cough. That is crazy. <coughs> now I feel like it's back itchy up in here. So some of you, this could be with uh, a throat chakra situation. Because I've been listening. It's just getting back scratchy right here. So some of you, this could maybe even do with vocaling, right? Maybe you wanted to sing and you've always wanted to sing, but you always felt like it wasn't no money in it. Maybe you always wanted to write and write books or like, I don't know, do music or just stand up comedy, bitch. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Something that really taps into your creativity, something that really allows your emotions to flow, something that really is your passion. Are you fucking done? <laughs> like, are you? Can we continue now? Damn. Anyway, that was rude. <laughs> um, something that's really your passion. We definitely have to spray some lights all around in the air, obviously. Um, allow this to be your new love is what I was about to fucking say. <clears throat> allow this passion. Allow whatever this is. Um, and you're starting over a moment to really become your new love. Like, that's what you need to be falling in love with right now, right? Especially if you just kind of let go of something romantic. This is the time to really find that love in this passion, right? And whatever this is, start that motherfucker from scratch. Allow it to be a new cycle. You're going to make a lot of money from it, okay? Uh, for others of you, this isn't exactly a new opportunity for some money. Um, Because, yeah, because some of you could turn this into, like, again, if you want to do stand-up comedy, that could be a whole career screwage. And it's like, well, this person, she, you know what I'm saying? They went from working in a Fortune 500 company, they was a RN nurse, and now they uh, do stand-up comedy. You know what I mean? It can happen. 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 Okay? It's never too late. It's never too late. Right? Um... For some of you also, you could be the random reward winning opportunity um, is definitely going to be something romantic. Um, definitely just try to stay clear headed. Okay. Um, I do feel like that could have even been a message for me because I woke up this morning and the first thing that I saw on my Twitter was like meditate. And I definitely was in my head and I was just like, nah, I meditate later. <laughs> I did not get my meditation in this morning. So I'll do it after this. Um, it's only 11. I mean, it's only 10 something. So we still got time. It's about to get 11 o'clock. Um... For others of you, yes, uh, you have been, you could have already shifted your focus. You could already be focused on self-improvement, um, having some self-realizing, regaining your focus and really kind of shifting that focus to other places. Um, I do feel like some of you where that, uh, where that resonates, some of you might be having some options to wait. I don't know if this is more than one prospect, bitch. Um, or just weighing options on if you really want to take somebody back or not. I do feel like there will be a new opportunity. I do feel like there will be an opportunity to start over romantically. I do feel like this is going to be some sort of new love as well. Where it's just like, you know, y'all might fall in love all over again. You know what I mean? Where it's like y'all really allowing the emotions to flow. Really allowing the creativity and the happiness. And y'all really are giving from a genuine, authentic place. Okay? Wherever you fall at on that motherfucking spectrum, keep your motherfucking mouth shut. That's all I got to say about that. Let's go ahead and segue into Mr. Nasty Time. <laughs> uh, and I think I want to use these. <clears throat> Boys, don't fail me now, God damn it. Because don't fail me now. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so let's see. Give me some sexual energy for the collective, okay? That way y'all can't say I don't love y'all, okay? Y'all see how I just gave y'all love, and then we're going to segue into the six. I want to have some six. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny for me to spell six. S-E-C-K-S. -E I don't know. That shit is just so funny to me. It really tickles me when I see it uh, spelled like that, because I pronounce it like six. And I just think that shit is hilarious. Dude. It just tickles me pink. Okay, so let's see. Give me something for the collective. Give me some sexual messages for the collective. And we just gonna shoot off some rounds of what we might need to be doing. 
I am still hot this crazy. I swear, if I sweat my head out, hair out, I'm gonna just fucking cry. So we have the devil card. Please keep in mind that I'm not reading these like regular tarot, okay? I'm strictly going off of the illustration of the cards, and that's how we do this deck, okay? Um. Because why I never noticed that this motherfucker in this card and this motherfucker in this card wearing the same thing? Let me find out y'all the same motherfucker. Okay, so for the first one, um, King of Cups down at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we do have the Devil. Um, we do have the Ten of Swords. Oh, it's hot. I just, every time I channel, I feel like I just be burning the fuck up. Okay, y'all just don't have to see me fan myself like a church fan. Fuck it. I am human. Okay. <laughs> um, the fucking magician is here. And I never really care for him. Um, the five dicks is here. And then we have the eight of swords. Okay. Um, so this is definitely giving me sneaky link energy. Um, I don't know if you have a sneaky link or if, if this is your energy towards a sneaky link or maybe the energy towards you okay if you deal with a sneaky link if you deal with a sneaky link or if you just maybe just encounter one okay because this could be new um yeah i like my cut closest plan i like the way you touch me i like the way you please me you tease me i like the way you sex me so yeah somebody could maybe look like a bump from the outside okay um where it's just like they seem real rough scruffy you know what i mean not really put together um you just, <laughs> uh i don't know if you like white boys i don't person watching or maybe if you just like white women i don't you know whatever your preference is i don't really care it's not my business i'm not here to judge um but it's like you know and, and i'm just kind of my spirit guys are fucking wild so they kind of bringing it to me like this you know how white people could kind of have that like scruffy look and if you kind of hang around white women or be around white women you know like sometimes they kind of like that shit you know what i mean whereas like he look all throat together and like he look like he has to wash his hair had to really put his hair in like a bun you know what i'm saying or like he kind of just threw a walk up and just threw his hair together today and you know just threw on some baggy pants some people like that look i personally don't i'm sorry i gotta turn this fan on hold on <gasps> Okay, I feel a lot better. <laughs> that definitely helps. Um, but no, so it's giving me like, you know how some people like that, where it's like they don't really look all polished and put together, but you know what I'm saying? Something about it, you know? <laughs> it's kind of what it gives. So somebody might not exactly look um, as polished as you're accustomed to, or might not look all well put together, well dressed and groomed and all of that. But I do feel like the sex is going to hit, okay? sex will hit i do feel like they are going to like you on top um and they're gonna work up a sweat okay i feel like both y'all gonna really work up a sweat yeah um <laughs> but you know um now when i stand for saying what's this song um when i stand so yeah this could be a little sneaky link when i stand type situation um they might not look all that you know but i do feel like they are going to give what needs to be gave you know what I mean? On the link up. <laughs> it's gonna give what needed to be gave on the link up. So you're not gonna have to worry about that. Um, I do feel like they are gonna be very touchy feely. Um, they will like your breasts, they will like your ass, feminine energies. Um fellas, if you do have like a rough You know what I mean? Like if you're if you're a rough type of type <laughs> If you're a rough type of type, you know what I mean? Um, I definitely feel like she will uh, really respond very well to that. I feel like it's going to be fun, right? Look how they look. You know what I mean? It looks fun. It looks like we're having a good jolly old time. You know what I mean? Um, something about breasts. Something about squeezing breasts, definitely. So let's see. Um, let me use my Yeah, 
yeah, so some niggas definitely give a sneaky link vibe to a one night stand for men. Um, it's definitely getting a sneaky link. She said, listen, I know you got a girl, you know I got a man. So let's just respect the game. Okay. We here for a good time not a long time. <laughs> we here for a good time not a long time. So set the mood is the card that we got. Spanking. Meow. I like that. <laughs> Sounds like my type of party. <laughs> my kind of club. I love it when you take control. Okay. Cuddles after. <clears throat> So I said, fellas, I feel like if you're a rough type of type, if, if you're the if you're the rough type of type, <laughs> somebody might really like that. Wop. So get your boots and your coat. <laughs> okay. Ladies, y'all know the rest. Come on. So it's definitely giving wop things. It's definitely giving, this is again, I think I feel like I'm picking up on that. Yeah, I just saw sub. So there's definitely like a BDSM couple or something. Um, Cause sub is here. So somebody um, either wants to be submissive or like when, or they like when you're submissive, you like when they're submissive. They like when you're submissive. I mean, you know, figure out, figure out when you go. <laughs> okay. But I do feel like I was just about to say that. I feel like this is that. That group that I pick up on because every time I've been doing these lately I pick up on like a on a set the mood sensual sexual you know what I mean like where it's like I love you but like you know what I mean it's hard to explain but someone definitely loves me to take control I do feel like that could be the person who's submissive um, and likes spankings okay someone is definitely gonna want to cuddle you after the fact Someone is addicted to your sex is what I heard. Sex addict is here, but it's definitely giving someone's addicted to your sex. Where it's just like, I can't get enough of you. You know what I mean? So let's see. There's something else that we're going to jump back over into that day. Because I kind of like to jump around with both of them. Good dick, good pussy. Okay? Like I said, I get your boots and your coat. <laughs> Somebody will definitely be addicted to you though. Um, with Dick Good Pussy being here with sex addict, I feel like confirms what I said. Um, someone's not gonna really get enough of you. Someone's gonna almost be like addicted. They might already be, um, if this is someone you've already been with. So they might already be, and that could be why they're trying to come set the mood and um <laughs> and do all the thing of the things. You know what I mean? Yeah, K Camp in my face. So yeah, someone feel like that pussy. Somebody want that walk. Okay, in they face. Okay, it's what it's giving. <laughs> it's what it's giving. Yeah, I said that. Yeah, dick whip, pussy whip. Yeah. So either this is both of you about each other, one of you about the other one, or this is how y'all fit to be. Um, for long. Yeah. But someone could also be childish. So make sure you be careful. Um, immature, childish, inconsiderate, selfish, quick pumper. Now, if you got that wop, you got you. You just got the thing on you now. If you just got the thing on you now, you know what I'm saying? Quick pump would just, you can't really help it. Um, but again, please be very careful of just being immature. Um, yeah, because someone could just be a sex addict on some childish shit where it's like, they just like to have sex. They're just childish. You know what I'm saying? You know how little boys is when they kind of going today you know what i'm saying like it's like they just kind of horn dogs you know what i'm saying they they fuck a pillow if it, if it had ass you know what i mean right like so make sure you just be mindful um to you it might seem like oh i got good dick good pussy and they just dick with pussy with then it's like no they just childishly like the fuck you know what i'm saying some people just like to just get off with whoever they can get off with that's why i said somebody might be a butterface might must be her ass but it ain't her face you know what i'm saying so somebody might just be a butterface um but it's like the sex is really good that's what i'm picking up too so be mindful of that um 
because I do feel like that could be an issue. Whereas, like, here you are thinking that your sex is just good, and it's like, no, they just get around. I get around, go, 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 round and round, round and go, you know? Someone could also be selfish. Yeah, so be mindful of that, too. Where it's like, the sex could be good, but then people get, like, like being addicted to someone's sex could make them selfish, especially because if that's all they're thinking about, and now when they come around, they're really just trying to scheme and shuck and jive to kind of get what they want, you know what I mean? Um, just to kind of, because they're, like, addicted to it. And it's like, now you're not even treating me like a human being. You treat me like, like, just a sex doll, you know what I mean? So... Be mindful of that. <coughs> yeah. Now, it's a good one with some pepper spray. I'm not about to cook. I'm going to have to definitely get that off when I get done. Um, let's go ahead and jump into here with these cards so we can go ahead and wrap up. I think I'll tap on these and then tap these one more time. And that's everything. Don't, don't, don't say I don't love y'all. Here I am. Okay. Put that pussy in my face. I do feel like for the most part, though, for some of you, be careful. Make sure that they're not just being inconsiderate of you um, and selfish and all of that. For some of you, this quick pump card came out because they addicted to you, ready to get to you, want you, and they just not going to last by the time they, you know what I'm saying? It's like. And I'm laughing because I'm just being reminded of a moment that happened where it's like, <coughs> where it's like, you know, somebody been wanting you for so long, you know what I mean? And then they finally get you and it's just like, in two seconds, you know what I mean? But it's like the anticipation, the, the buildup of it all, you know what I'm saying? Is what really, is really what it is, you know what I mean? Where it's like, listen, I've been, and as soon as you touch me, I'ma just, cause I just been waiting, it's the anticipation of it all, right? Um, so I kind of can see that too, but it's just a quick pump, okay? But if you a motherfucker like me, I give you 15 minutes to recharge. But um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You had to run that back. I mean, you to come on with, come on. Love faces by Trigger Trey. Even though, I mean, is he canceled? Should we cancel him? What are we exactly doing with this motherfucker? You know what I mean? What is, what is, what is really happening? What is, what is we doing about it? Have we heard? Is he guilty? Do we know? I haven't, I don't know. Just honest questions. Honest inquiries. <laughs> Drop down in the comments and let me know something. Some of you, um, <laughs> some feminine is gonna act like she hasn't been with anybody and she's with two different people at the same time. That's what I'm getting. I feel like for one of y'all, you're like checking. Like if you can see this, you see how he kind of snatching her skirt up? It made me feel like he like trying to check to make sure. You know what I mean? Um, and it's like that's not doing you no justice because she's still with two different like she's still dealing with you and dealing with somebody else but she's been playing dumb like she's not she really won't both of y'all um uh, this is for somebody somebody's masculine or maybe you're the feminine you're not fooling nobody though you know what i mean like you're gonna get caught up if you're the feminine if you're the masculine trying to look at her genitals don't help don't fuck <laughs> like read a book <laughs> it's not how that works you're not gonna look at her pussy and be like okay you ain't been away <laughs> are you stupid are you a gynecologist no so you really don't know what you're looking for oh, okay you should stop looking dumbass because <laughs> somebody definitely be checking that pussy to see 
but who else has been in it? And it's like, there's definitely somebody dipping their finger off in your cookie jar, my nigga. That's not how that work. And she really won't be out of town. Now, others of you, I do feel like um, somebody who's watching for a masculine, I don't see that. I feel like these are the two cards that go together. Because, yeah, both of them just kind of make me feel like a tower. And I do feel like somebody could be holding out to wait on you. I also feel like somebody might be playing dumb, like they're not holding out. And it's like they, they, are, they are. They are. They're not dealing with nobody else because they want you. But I feel like in, in, in that regard, this is somebody who's like trying to play like they just big player. Like they just out here just, you know what I'm saying, not even caring, don't care. And it's like, no, you really in the house put up. <laughs> you really, you really in the house put up. Stop it. I do feel like I do feel like for some of you I feel like where it applies for the masculines and they haven't really been doing nothing um, I feel like Yeah, I feel like even if they did try to do something, it's not you. You know what I mean? Like, if, like feminine energies, if you're watching this for your man and it's like, I'm just trying to see if he dealing with other hoes, I don't think so. I feel like even if he wanted to deal with other hoes, he'd be so bored with the bitches because they don't really give what you give in the bedroom. Now, if you dealing with another person's man and he kind of just be laying on the bed like this, when you on top, then you're probably the one not really fulfilling him. Um... But I'm seeing that most of them really are being put up and putting themselves up because they already know, like, what they want is what they want. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at how she fondled his dick and his nuts and he just kind of laid back cheese in this slime. You know what I mean? Um, this made me feel like because she already knows. You know what I mean? Like, he knows that she knows what he like. You know what I mean? So it's, it's like, I'm going to just sit here and kind of just let her do her because she already knows. <laughs> right so I feel like most of the masculines or either this collective of masculines I can speak for all of them but uh, this specific collective of masculines if you're watching this and you resonate I do feel like yeah they, they put up on purpose because it's just like nah there's no point in wasting my own time you know what I mean what, what fun is that that's no fun for me especially if I gotta teach a motherfucker you know what I'm saying like why would I want to get in a bed with somebody I gotta teach and then now I'm bored and it's not fun when it's like I already know who I want they already know what I like I know what I like <laughs> feminine energies again this is your um confirmation and your reminder that you will get caught okay for whoever that applies to when you uh going home and you acting like you won and then it's like but you you really didn't win you really trying to act monogamous when you really poly you're gonna get caught do what you want to with that information but you're gonna get caught you'd have been better off going ahead and going to your nigga and saying hey i want you to just toss me i got you and it's somebody else and i um <laughs> i want both of y'all at the same time you might as well just go ahead and toss it up to that because you're gonna get caught Just make sure you clean around your mouth. Okay? I'll say it like that to keep it discreet. It still is the middle of the day. Can't be talking too early in the middle of the day. That's why I try to do these at night. Um <laughs> just make sure you wipe around your mouth, okay? If you if you kinda going to do the do and then it's like I gotta go home, make sure you wipe your face off. Okay. I would hate for you to go home and try to kiss your man and he like, what is that on the side of your face? <laughs> That's all I'm saying about that. Let's go ahead and move on to before we get up out of here. Meeting in my bedroom by Silk. Okay. There is a meeting in my bedroom.
what I really thought this was, what's that song when it's like somebody that's speaking to my bed? Is that Drew Hill? I think that is Drew Hill. That's what I really thought. That what I really thought. That what I really thought I would hear today. <laughs> okay, so make sure you watch out for that. Make sure ain't nobody been sleeping in your bed. Okay. Give me this last one. Um, right, my face. Uh, yeah, okay. So somebody definitely again want that wall. Okay. <laughs> Somebody is interested in the WAP. Okay. Get your boots and your coat. <laughs> I just keep hearing it. Get your boots and your coat. Okay. Yeah. I'm talking bucket and a mop. <laughs> that's what it, that's what we need to play next. I, I think I got it in my sex playlist. I think I do. Um thumb in my blue. So maybe some of you definitely like the bowling ball effect. I know I do. Um, I think I want to go a little further than the bowling ball. Like I, I want to stick a little more than the thumb. But you know, if my person eventually get his act together, we'll see. I don't know. You know, yeah, ooh la la, um, or ooh la by John Legend. Um, when I come home, all I want to hear is that ooh la, <laughs> that sweet sound. You know, I love this song so much. I think this is the most elegant sexual song that's so beautiful like it's it's so beautiful if you really were listening you wouldn't even know that he was <laughs> being sexual but it's it's such a good song even if john legend himself was to be like that song is not about sex your bullshit your bullshit okay you lie to somebody else john okay Ooh. so yeah please be careful about sleeping around i just see that again um you have girl on girl here, you have boy on boy here, and you have STD, STI, okay? Now again, y'all know this is a judgment-free zone. I don't care. Get your short wrong, girl wrong, how you want to, okay? I'm not here to judge, okay? I don't want nobody judging me. I don't give a fuck to judge y'all. Whatever y'all do behind closed doors is y'all motherfucking business, okay? But just make sure you're being careful, okay? That's all I, that's all I judge y'all on, okay? Don't be out here being, getting around, and not being safe. Okay? If you're going to get around, at least be safe. <laughs> All right? Because I'm not one of them. Like, oh, I can I can do, uh, listen, just because I couldn't don't mean that the next motherfucker could You know? You do what make you happy. Whatever give you that ooh la feeling that John Legend be singing about. <laughs> you know? Just be careful. You know what I'm saying? And be careful with who you end up with. You never know who getting around. Then you fuck around with somebody that's getting around and then now you got some shit and it ain't even because you've been getting around. It's because you got with somebody that's been getting around and they've been getting around and being unsafe and they getting in around. So just be careful, child. Oof. You do have big mama, big daddy, okay? Kiss me while you in it. Big dick energy. I love to I love when you talk to me like that in reverse cowgirl. Ride me is down at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, definitely seg back weighing into um segueing into back into what we was the romantic mist. Because you know, it's always a, a level of y'all that's romantic and some of y'all definitely just kinda be doing casual. Um and again that's fine. Just be safe. Okay. Be safe and make sure the people you being with being safe. Okay? That's all I gotta say about that. Um other than you, I definitely feel like y'all are about to have some sort of something. Um, big dick energy is giving me big daddy energy. You know what I mean? Um, but you could also be a big mama and have big dick energy. You know what I'm saying? Just take your label how you want to take it. You, you, there's no strings with these labels, okay? You take what feel right to you when you just like, yeah, because that's pop the collar, that's me. <laughs> do it, do it feels right to you. Take the label that feel right to you. So, somebody definitely love when, um, when they talk to you, or maybe you love being talked to, yeah, there's that dom energy again. I was saying, yeah, there's somebody who's in the BDSM, some sort of BDSM couple, some sort of dom and sub, dommy. Maybe you're a, 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 a dommy, like a dominatrix and a mom. You know what I mean? Where it's just like big mama, big dick energy, big dom, yes. Um, <laughs> maybe the masculine, or maybe, you know, the male partner could be the sub. Um, you know what I'm saying? And they kind of. You know, see you as big mama, 
Um, maybe you're the sub and, and your man or your woman or whatever, right, is, is you know, just take it for how it goes, okay? But I'm definitely picking up BDSM. I'm definitely picking up a good dom and sub dynamic. Um, I've been picking it up for a minute. It is getting reverse capture, so somebody might really like that position. You might like that position. Um, I actually think I do like reverse capture more thick writing. That was a, that's not a position that I started though. That's a position that somebody else got me on. Um, but I will say I do like feeling them watch my ass. I feel like, and maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like I can feel my person watching my ass when I'm a reverse cowgirl, and I like it. And I like that I feel like he can kind of control my waist better. Cause I'm like leaning the other way, you know what I mean? Like we both facing this way <laughs> instead of towards each other. Um, and I think I just like it, yeah. And he like kind of claws down my back. It's a thing. I don't know. It's it's become a thing. I think it's my favorite. Cause I like riding. I just don't got a thighs for it. Um, <laughs> but I enjoy it. I think I definitely enjoy a verse type girl better though. But I'm still a stand and deliver type of gal. Me personally. Uh, so that might be something that you like if you never tried it. Maybe you want to try it. Maybe you listen to me talk about it. And it's just like, girl, I don't know, girl, I might have tried it. <laughs> you know, so definitely try to go for it. Let me get you pregnant. Yeah. I feel like we keep getting this with this couple too. Some sort of dom. I feel like the dom wants to get somebody pregnant. So if you are the masculine, or if the masculine is the dom, I feel like the dom wants to get you pregnant. Um, that might be the one but who want to set the mood and all that da 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 and really make it a moment um and if you're a dom you could just be thinking about getting pregnant like you might like if you're I don't know let's example if you're the feminine and you're the dom and then your masculine is the sub which is no tea no shade I, you know, I low key be thinking this shit looks sexy um <laughs> But, you know, maybe you could just be thinking right now where it's just like, I kind of want to get pregnant, you know? Kind of kind of where you start there, you know? Somebody could want to get you pregnant, but let me taste you. So, yeah, there's a lot of taste testing going on, okay? <laughs> a lot of taste testing going on. It's a lot of wop tasting. <laughs> it's a lot of wop tasting going on here, okay? Give me one more card love making come on i love that i love that we love that yeah so there's definitely a dom and sub thing here um that somebody's trying to get into love making you might want to get into love making you might want to make love these couple days uh somebody could want to make love to you lingerie is down at the bottom of the deck um so i do feel like maybe you know maybe you might can get into some sexy lingerie maybe somebody's gonna buy you some Maybe you need to buy you some, you know what I'm saying? If maybe you just need to feel a little sexy. Maybe person watching you need to buy you some lingerie. Maybe it's about to, it's probably about to pass me too. When last time I bought some lingerie? I think the last time I bought lingerie actually was in Jan January. For my shoe. Uh-huh. Okay. You know, so maybe you like me and it's just like, it's been a while. You know what I'm saying? Treat yourself. Even if you don't have anybody sexual and you're watching this, you be like, ooh, girl, I wish. Um, You know? You can still do something nice for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You can still set the mood for yourself and make love to yourself. Okay? You can set the mood, light some candles. Um, get you some nice toys. Get you some sexy lingerie. Listen, y'all know I'm an advocate for using the toys in the mirror, honey. Okay? Make love to yourself. Listen, you are you are beautiful. Okay? All the way to your climax. Pour you up a glass of wine. Smoke a blunt. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Feel like a bad bitch. Okay? I'm y'all know I'm big on that. I'm so huge on it. Um, but for others of you, yes, I definitely see making love. I see setting the mood. I see some taste testing. I see a dom wanna get pregnant or even wants to get you pregnant. Somebody loves when you kiss them, um, when you're in them or when they're in you. Okay, someone loves when you talk to them and kind of really, really get into the you know what I'm saying? You really kind of make it a moment. You know what I mean? Um, and I definitely feel like someone wants to make it a moment. Others of you, just if you're casual, again, make sure you're being careful who you're being with. Make sure you're being protected. Make sure the people that you're being with are being protected, okay? Because you don't want to get nothing. Because I do feel like there might be some 
it's some extra extra going on right now um and somebody might not tell you you know what i'm saying i don't believe in being down low even though i understand um i understand how you know risky things can be and family and all these things that but um you know just make sure you be careful you know what i mean that's the egg if you're gonna be down low make sure you're being careful and if you deal with people who are on the down low make sure that they're being careful you know what i'm saying everybody need to be getting tested this is the time now where it's like everybody you know what i'm saying especially with roe versus wade child now you just can't because if you're pregnant this it is what it is um and again we're not trying to get AIDS, hiv or none of that so please 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 and I just saw a story about that, like, on Twitter, right? And it was, like, some guy had monkeypox, and they, like, dismissed it or something. And then uh, they came back to test him, and it was, like, he had monkeypox, but he's so immune deficient or, it's like, immune compromised because he had HIV and AIDS and never knew. So it's, like, you know, so just make sure you be careful, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Again, I don't, I don't give a fuck who you get around with, how you get around. I don't give a fuck. What you eat don't make me shit, I promise. Just make sure y'all being careful, okay? I can't stress that shit enough. It's already enough going on in the world, okay? With the COVID and all her 12, 13 brothers and sisters, monkeypox, we just, let's not add STDs and STIs to that if we don't have to, right? Um, just make sure you guys are being safe. Freak Like Me by Adina Howard is playing. Um, I will call the sign. So we have the magician, which is Gemini and Virgo Energy. We have the Judgment card, which is Libra energy. Mars also did just enter Gemini. So please, again, make sure you be careful when you get around with Mars and Gemini. But that sexual energy is I like to have multiple options. I like to get around. Um, I knew somebody who had a Mars and Gemini. They called themselves a philanderer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they meant that, like in every sense of the word. Um, and again... If that's who you are, then that's who you are. Just make sure you're being careful and make sure that the people that you being careful with are also being fucking careful, okay? Another emphasis on Gemini, we have the Hermit card here. We have the World card, um, which I don't think it's a sign. So, again, just this makes me feel like collective. I think when I start pulling the World card, I think I would just use that as a universal collective. So, this really could be any sign, but I'm going to chuck this up to, like I said, the World, a.k.a. the collective, a.k.a. Mars is in Gemini. Um, so you could have a Mars and Gemini, um, but this could also just mean overall collective energy. Um, because like I said, Mars and Gemini is a collective energy. Um, it will affect us all individually depending on where it is in your chart. But as a collective, it's very much options. It's very much having a lot of different things going on at one time. And it's definitely the sign of I have a lot of sexual partners. Okay, I like to try this. And a little bit of that and a little bit of that everything that's stimulating me right is is what i'm gonna take a little piece of just make sure you're being careful and make sure you're being clean you do have the devil card here which is capricorn energy you have the tower card here which is scorpio energy and you have the hanged woman which is piscean energy okay we are ending off on being higher howard thank you again so much for visiting my channel i hope this definitely resonated in or gave you some sort of entertainment um <laughs> If you like it here, please subscribe, like, leave me some comments down below on how this resonated. Um, definitely thumbs up the video if you can and try to get the algorithm good and together. Um, check down below in the description box. I do love readings. I do sex readings. Um, I can pull sex cards for love. I also offer to pull love cards during your sex reading. Um, I also have other services down below. Definitely make sure you check down below to get the sex playlist that will be on Apple. I also have... Um, what am I saying? Words. Um, I also have a link um, down for uh, my website as well. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for rocking out with me this lovely Saturday. I have to go see what I'm going to do for the rest of my day if I'm doing anything. If not, I'll probably just spend the day getting some cranked up. Um, and, yeah. Love you guys so much. Thank you guys for rocking out with me. And until next time, peace out. <laughs>